Hey guys, this is David from Deed Solar and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to set your SolarEdge battery to full charge from the grid through their brand new battery management mode. This is a brand new feature for SolarEdge users, new to 2023, that allows homeowners to take charge of their stored energy. For example, previously only the installers could schedule full charging from off-peak tariffs such as Oxbus Go, which was a major pain point for the majority of our customers. But SolarEdge has since taken on this feedback and now the power is in your hands. So continue watching to learn how you can manage your SolarEdge battery more efficiently and most importantly, more profitably. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your app is up to date. I know I have spoken to the guys at SolarEdge and the new update might not be available to everyone yet. So how will you know if you have access to this feature? And how do you get access to this feature if you don't? If you open My SolarEdge app and tap the battery icon located at the bottom of the screen or the battery on your diagram, you should see the following options. Battery mode, backup reserve, and battery information. Now some users may log in and only have access to the battery information option. However, it's a battery mode that we are interested in. In this case, you or your installer will need to contact SolarEdge directly in order for them to grant you access. The easiest way to get in touch with SolarEdge is via WhatsApp. In order to do so, you will need to supply SolarEdge with your site ID which can be found within your app by going into the three lines located in the top left of your screen and simply clicking site details. The number you will be looking for will be next to ID. It may take a couple of days for Solar Edge to grant you access and you may need to delete and re-download the app, ensuring it's up to date before you see the battery mode option become live. So. Now let's assume that's all sorted for you. Once again, simply go into the SolarEdge app and click on the battery icon at the bottom. Click into the battery mode option. Here is where you can control and customize your battery settings to best suit your energy needs and to help maximize your return on investment. Now let's go through each battery mode. Option one, maximize self-consumption. The Maximize Self-Consumption Mode aims to use as much solar production as possible to power your home and charge your battery, regardless of utility rates. For a fixed utility rate, it is the most effective setting to minimise grid dependency. This is a perfect set and forget option and is useful for systems where export is not allowed or the export rate for energy is low. To simply activate this battery mode, all you need to do is tick the option by selecting it. It is worth mentioning here that only one of these modes can be active at a time. Option two, time of use. The time of use mode is perfect if you are on a variable rate tariff where your monthly cost and unit of energy changes. The time of use mode automatically charges the batteries from your solar panels and or the grid when your energy rate is at its lowest, storing this energy to be used when the rates are at their highest during peak hours. SolarEdge's smart algorithm will learn and predict your home energy consumption and production and use this information to consistently optimize the use of your battery. Taking into account your habits, and the weather forecast to ensure that you'll always have enough energy stored in your battery to meet your home demand. This way you can ensure your home is using energy when it's most cost effective. By setting peak hours you can ensure that your home is powered by the sun as your first choice, by the stored energy as your second choice and by the grid as the last result. Simply select time of use and then edit settings followed by add peak hour range to start the process. Now select your peak hours where you would like to minimize your import. This will likely be evening. Electricity is generally cheapest between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. and more expensive during the peak hours from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. 
where electricity peaks between 4pm and 7pm, especially on weekdays. You can usually find your most expensive peak hours on your electricity bill. You can add multiple time periods, setting each for various time frames. For example, weekdays, weekends, summer and winter months. After you are happy with your selection, simply select set, followed by save. This will take you back to the battery mode page. Remember to tick time of use after in order to activate your setting. The final battery management setting is manual control, where you can define exactly when you want the battery to charge and discharge. This setting is perfect if you're on a time of use economy 7 or 10 tariff. For example, if you're on Octopus Go, you're going to want to take advantage of just super cheap energy overnight by setting your battery to charge between the hours of 12.30 and 4.30, like so. Once again, you can set multiple charge and discharge timeframes on different days of the week, months and seasons. This mode is also useful if you are on a tariff with a high export rate, for example, Oxford Agile as you can set a discharging schedule for that time period. Another top tip, if you want to charge your EV during the low rate off peak hours, you should set a charging schedule for that time period so that your battery does not discharge itself in order to charge your electric vehicle. But be aware, uh, we're gonna set a time charge on our EV but we, we need to set that time charge, not at the same time as the battery, slightly later. Because if we do both at the same time, then potentially the spike and the surge current could trip the RCD. So for example, if I set my battery to charge at 12.30, then I should set my car to start charging at 12.45. Both can end at 4.30, so they're utilizing the cheap tariff window, but so that we're not trying to demand too much current in the initial startup. So there we have it. Complete battery management now available at the SolarEdge monitoring app. It is important to remember that you can only have one of these modes active at a time. But don't miss your chance to take control. Manage your battery storage and maximise those solar savings. This has been David Norman for Solar. Don't forget to like, subscribe and think green. 